بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ونصلي ونسلم على سيدنا وإمامنا محمد وعلى آله صحبه أجمعين The essence of our iman and when it comes to worshiping Allah is one has to have صدق صدق is being truthful Islam is concerned more about what we have in our hearts, about our intentions, being truthful with Allah and not caring with anything except pleasing Allah. That's why a Muslim, a true Muslim, is rewarded by Allah when he is more and more truthful, being Sadiq. Sadiq is being truthful, to tell the truth. And being truthful with Allah, meaning that our niyyah and the intention will be 100% with Allah and not anyone else or not anything else. So, uh, and we know that the Prophet ﷺ, even before he was 40 years old, before uh, the, the mission of Islam, or the revelation of Islam came to him, he, his title among his people was As-Sadiq Al-Ameen, As-Sadiq. He always say the truth. He always act truthfully. He never lies, he never lies. Even before Sayyidina Jibreel came with the message of Islam from Allah to him. And inshallah we can talk about the, the title of As-Sadiq Al-Ameen some other time. But the subject of that we want to talk about now is some people Allah give them this gift <clears throat> of being truthful and dedicated dedicated to worshiping Allah so this story that I'm going to tell you about now is about one of the companions of the Prophet even his name is known is not known to us or not known to those who wrote the seerah of uh, beginning of the Islam. He was very new in Islam. Maybe his Islam was only one day or two or three days. Just took shahada. Very new to Islam. Just learning, learning about Islam. Learning how to, to say al-Fatiha and to pray and so on. But at that time, <clears throat> there was the call to go to the battle against the enemies of Islam. So the army was ready and he volunteered to be with the army. Just two days or so after he became Muslim. And he was full of zeal and <clears throat> very eager. And he went to the Prophet ﷺ and said, I give you my pledge that I will do everything I can in fighting for Islam with the army, the Muslim army. So the, uh, the battle started one day and the, alhamdulillah, uh, the Muslims were victorious for the first day and it, is, it was the, uh, uh, the rule that they can get what is called the spoils of war. Spoils of war meaning if they their enemy is defeated, they can take whatever they have from their uh, weapons, from the whatever they have from their cattle, uh, horses, camels, what, whatever. So the army came at the, when the, uh, the fighting stopped and they bring to the, the, the Prophet ﷺ to distribute the, the spoils of war, okay? So everyone had his share, and they said, the Prophet said, what, what is this person? It's not known, as I said, his name is not known. So give, give him this share. This is his share. So they brought him whatever money or uh, swords or camels. This is your share. He says, what, what is this? Is this is from the spoils of war. So he took everything that they gave him and went to the Prophet, he said, no, I did not pledge you when I became Muslim to get any of this. 
He said, what did you pledge me to? He said that I fight for Islam until anything will, or an arrow or a, a, a sword attack or anything comes to my neck here. And he pointed with his finger on one, one spot in his neck until I am killed in, this is my pledge to you. I don't need any of this money or a camel or a horse. Okay, so that was his wish. That means tells you that he was only very sincere and very truthful with the pledge to fight for Islam. The second day and the, uh, the battle continued and that man was killed. He was killed. And at the end, the Prophet ﷺ was looking for those who have been killed to bury them. And <clears throat> you know, the a person who dies as a martyr, shaheed in Islam, he is not made the usual for like anyone who dies, other an ordinary man who dies, or in any ordinary a woman actually also. The shaheed has it has to be buried with his even blood around him he's not washed the body wash that we know anyway so they brought him to the prophet so he looked at him and the arrow that came came at the same spot that he pointed his finger at the day before not in his uh, 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 shoulder not in his thigh, not in his belly or stomach. The same point that he pointed his finger to is the place of the sword or the arrow or the spear that came, killed him. So the Prophet was wondering, he said, Ahua, 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 is that him? Is he him? Meaning is this man, the one who talked to me and pointed to his face yesterday. So the companion says, Hua Hua, it is he, him who talked to you. So the Prophet والسلام, says, لقد صدق الله فصدقه الله. He was truthful to Allah. So Allah fulfilled his promise to him. Allah was, and Allah is always truthful with everyone, of course. But in this case, it means that Allah has fulfilled his promise to him. So the Prophet ﷺ gave the hadith, In Allah yasduk. If you are truthful with Allah, Allah will reciprocate, will exchange by being always truthful to you. He will fulfill his promise or whatever. Allah will give you a reward or give you a gift or give you anything to in exchange of being truthful with Allah. So this reminds us that we always have to be in, in, in salah, in hajj, in zakah, in everything that we do, being in our mind, in our heart to be truthful to Allah not to show off or not to uh, have people admire us about what what we do, but only 100% for Allah. <clears throat> there is a hadith, also another hadith, so we know that in tasduq Allah, yasduq. The other hadith <clears throat> is the, for the Prophet والسلام, saying, then man, man tamanna أن يكون شهيدا بصدق anyone who wishes that Allah that he will die as a martyr شهيد in truthfulness so from the bottom of his heart or her heart that he will be or she will be a martyr أنزله الله منازل الشهداء ولو مات على فراشه Allah will give him the level of martyrs even if he dies on his bed. Even if he dies on his bed. He did not go to the battle. He was not killed 
by the enemies of Islam. He was not a shaheed in the sense that we know, fighting for the cause of Allah. But he, he, he died on his bed. He was sick and died, ordinary. But he had the intention and he wishes that he died as a shaheed, is a martyr. Then Allah will give him the same level as the shaheed. <clears throat> Why? Because he was truthful when he had this wish or this dua that he made. Oh Allah, make me die as a shaheed. Okay, so this gives us an idea that truthfulness, a sadq, sadq with Allah is more important than anything else. Of course, we have to be always truthful with other people around us. We have to be truthful in behaving and treating other people. This is also uh, part of our sadq to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وأقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم وجزاكم الله خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله